So, the SL9000. So, if Bex, you can do us a favour and just unveil da, da, da. the beauty of the SL9000. The, the one thing you'll notice, so nobody in the UK, in terms of consumers or press, have seen this product. Not one journalist has seen the product. They will see it very shortly over the next few days in IFA, um, which is, this is our LED TV. So if you're all familiar with the Samsung uh, 6, 7, 8, 9 LED models, it's a very similar technology. However, we do offer some really clear, unique selling points, which we will go into a little bit more detail as time goes by. But the one thing you'll notice, it doesn't have a bezel on the TV. It's just one seamless plane. We'll launch the TV as borderless TV, hint, hint, and the TV will be launching in October. So as you can see, October launch. So you're seeing the model here today in over sort of six to eight weeks before the product's actually going to hit the stores of the UK. Uh, 42 and 47 inch, it's going to be, um, it does have some really innovative features and, uh, which I'll talk through in a little bit more detail. The depth of the product is less than three centimetres. I know by putting it on the top shelf, it doesn't really show off the, the sheer depth of it, but I really encourage you to really um, have, have look, just look at the depth of that product. Less than three centimetres deep, it's perfect for wall mounting, perfect to be flushed against the wall for um, that perfect home fit in terms of installation at home. Uh, we're really excited about the SL9000 um, and the response from some of the key retailers who have seen it is very, very promising for us when they compare our model to, to the Samsung model. The, the second model that we're going to show off is the SL8000. So, Bex, if you can... Debbie McGee. So the SL8000 is our slim LCD TV. It also offers 200 hertz on the product. So as you can see, when you put the SL9000 and the 8000 together, these together are our borderless category TVs. They don't have any bezel, it goes edge to edge, and the picture goes literally to less than three centimeters, which is industry leading. The nearest TV that goes to the edge is actually um, twice the distance from the picture to the actual edge of the TV. So it's a, it's a really innovative way that we've actually delivered that, and I will go into a bit of detail of how that's been achieved as well. Um, it also has built-in Bluetooth, it also has 4 HDMI, it also has um, DivX HD playback as absolute standard. Both TVs uh, have these technologies um, built inside them as well. But the, in terms of U USPs, what we offer over some of the key competitors is we offer Bluetooth for a start, we offer DivX HD movie playback via the USB, and we also offer a great power consumption benefit versus the competition through our intelligent sensor technology. So shortly we're going to do a lot of demonstration to you to show you the difference of power consumption between LED, LCD and plasma. Because From left to right we have LED, LCD and plasma here today. This is the PQ6000 on the right if you're wondering. Uh, obviously we launched that earlier, earlier in April this year. But we really want to show you the benefits of our LED technology, our solution and how that is going to affect people's lives in terms of saving money off electricity bills and also you can obviously t see the difference already in terms, of, in terms of pitch quality between the three different technologies as well. The power consumption benefit is 40% less on LED than LCD, but instead of me just putting that on a presentation and making you believe me, we're actually going to show you with, through these power consumption meters, and Dean's going to kindly just demonstrate that shortly. The third TV is the LU7000, which Bex is now going to unveil on the right-hand side. This is our 19 inch and 22 inch with built in DVD solution. The DVD is a front loading DVD underneath the actual units here. It's still completely all wall mountable, as are all of our TVs. Um, they're all Visa standard. <coughs> so the, the Samsung LED, you need to have a special bracket that goes with that TV that is a Samsung bracket. Ours are all completely Visa, Visa standard. So whatever bracket you buy that's a Visa standard, it will fit our TVs, as long as you make sure that whatever Visa standard bracket that you buy, of course. Um, but the 19 and 22 LU7000, like I say, really caters for the, the, the secondary TV market in terms of bedrooms and kitchens. It also has a USB port built into it as well for pictures and also for MP3 playback as well. So it really does add to the range. 
not just, it's not just about LG focusing on the real high-end LED TVs, it's also about small screen and the LU7000 is not only fit for digital switchover activity, it's also fit for those students going back to university, but also for the people that just want to play about their DVD collections for the kids' bedrooms, etc, etc. Okay, so moving on. LED technology. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with, with LED, so apologies if this sounds very ignorant. I just want to give you one slide on what is LED all about, because people are talking about it, but people may not understand it in, the, in exactly the, the way it should be understood. There's two different formats of LED that's currently available. There's an edge LED solution, and there's a normal direct LED solution. The edge LED solution has LED lights all going around the perimeter of the TV. So around the edge of the, of the SL9000, it has LED lamps all into the edge of the TV. The great news about that is it allows for a really super slim design because you're not requiring the backlight in the middle of the television, which is then saving you a lot of space by having that, that edge LED which just allows for us to have that slim under three centimetre design. In terms of normal LED, this has over 400 LED lamps behind the actual design of the television. And what that allows for is that those lamps can be local dimming. They can switch on and switch off. So if you can imagine that on one side of the screen you're watching a movie and you've got a really bright scene on the right hand side of the picture, but on the left hand side you've got a dark scene. With local dimming you could have this side of the of the TV, all the LED lamps switched off and the right hand side could be all switched on. It gives you the benefits of plasma on the right hand side and the, sorry, the benefits of plasma on the left hand side with the real deep black but also the benefits of LCD on the right hand side with the higher brightness and also in terms of, and in terms of contrast as well, it'll be a, a lot higher on the right hand side. So it's a really in innovative technology. We, the SL9000 which is over here is this format same as Samsung's technology in terms of edge LED. However, we'll, at IFA, we'll be launching both technologies in terms of normal backlights and also edge. So if you want something that just looks incredibly sexy right up against the wall, edge LED is the way forward. However, if you want to, just the best picture quality <laughs> that's possible at the moment, the direct LED will still have the benefit over edge LED. So we will be supporting both technologies. So here is just a quick summary in terms of these two different types. Edge LED, SL9000, has 248 LED lamps going around the edge of the TV. Whereas a normal direct type has 960 LEDs, which also allows for that local dimming, as in switching off and on the different, the different lights on the actual television set. What LG will also support in the near future is also direct slim LED which is basically the benefits of both of these all rolled into one. But this is going to be something that's for more the future rather than of today. So there's always something better coming out clearly. So this is obviously the benefit of Edge LED is this really slim depth here. And the benefit of this is you know, over 2 million, 3 million to 1 contrast ratio through these different splits of local dimming as well. <laughs> 